we reacting to scary videos on the internet right now on YouTube. So hope y'all, hopefully y'all enjoy. On April 16 of 2023, at around 12 a.m., a man named Jacob wakes up to a strange noise outside his room. Trembling with fear, he gets out of bed and encounters something that leaves him extremely unnerved. Now, not too long ago, I featured a video from Jacob, who you may remember as the man who inherited an old house and a creepy clown doll that both belonged to his grandmother. The clown doll, known as Jeffrey, scares him. Because of this, he keeps Jeffrey locked up in a separate room away from him. But then one night, something happens that spooks Jacob out of his mind. It's close to midnight when a loud bang wakes him up. He hears a couple more noises before suddenly realizing that the sounds are coming from the room next to his where the clown doll was put. What happens next scares the living daylights out of him. Take a look. I just heard banging. First of all, why is he living in a creepy ass, in a creepy ass house, bro? That house look like it's from a scary movie, bro. Like, bro, he's living in a scary ass house. Ain't no way he living there, bro. This must be for a video, just for the video. I don't think he lives there, bro, because that's actually scary, bro. way he lived there bro ain't no way he lived there bro that's just scary bro even the painting is fading away the creepy uh hallway the way he turned on the light everything is creepy I, he, he doesn't live here bro now the door the way the door is opening it it just why is it why is there a big doll right there bro it's just sitting in the room you see yo he does not live there bro cuz the house is fading away the whole house is fading away bro at this point look at the room look at the painting he hears something downstairs. I don't know why you recording instead of getting out the house. Oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. Oh hell nah. As Jacob checks the room where the sounds were coming from, a loud noise is heard from downstairs. He looks nervously down the staircase when suddenly the sound of footsteps going up the stairs is heard. Yet, as he looks closely, no one appears to be there. He then quickly turns around to see the door opening slowly, showing Jeffrey, whose head is now in a different position. Initially seen facing the wall, the clown is now staring at the door. Jacob quickly ends the video here and locks himself in his room until the following morning. After this night, he was absolutely certain that Jeffrey was haunted. Afraid it might happen again or something worse may occur, he decides to move Jeffrey into the basement. Um, another update. You know, I think I'm definitely going to be moving Jeffrey, like... After you just witness the footsteps down in the basement where you are right now, and after that, you turn back and you saw this creepy doll looking at you, and you're going to put it in the basement, bro, instead of getting out the house? Oh, get the, that, getting that shit out of the house. When I say he's looking for death, he's looking for it. 
This is the result so far. I'm gonna leave him here. Creepy ass no. basement, bro. I know where he's I living think. there. I'm gonna put a camera here. Jeffrey's still here. So. And I like the way how he put it. This. How he puts it now on facing before, the wall. Jacob will keep an eye on Jeffrey by placing a security camera in front of him. If anything happens, he'll be notified immediately via a notification sent by the camera. Fast forward to a few nights later, and he's notified of movement inside the basement. He checks the camera's live feed and sees that the camera is moving side to side. Now this didn't alarm him, as he forgot that the heater on which the camera was placed on top has a timer that turns it on and makes it oscillate. The heater had simply turned on during this time. But as he continues to watch, something happens that terrifies him to his core. Watch. Creepy ass shit, bro. For real, this is some creepy ass shit. And the basement is crazy. Nah, I side move. I side move. That scared me. I side move, bro. You have a haunted. the camera oscillates from side to side, the clown's arm eerily moves on its own. Seconds later, the light bulb blows out in a loud explosion, making the basement completely dark. Following that, a strange voice is heard whispering something that's hard to make out. Not much else happens after this, but everything that happened before was enough for Jacob to decide that Jeffrey should remain locked up in the basement. Jeffrey continues to be recorded in case he moves again. For now, no further updates have been posted by Jacob. But until then, this video remains a mystery. Bro, lock the 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 doll, the 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 clown in the basement. He locked it permanently. Instead of getting the doll or the the, the clown out of the house, bro, because if you keep that thing in the house. It's going to have the, the, the whole house. Not going to have peace. But I guess it's his life, his dog. I guess. This video comes from a man whose entire home is filled with Bibles and other religious artifacts that he worships on the daily. If he's not praying, then he's most likely sitting at his piano playing a song with verses from the Bible. Pretty much everything he has or does in this apartment is based on something. I, I respect. He's reading his Bible cause I got, I do got my Bible right here. I do got my Bible. I read it sometimes, but having cross in your home, having a lot of cross in your home, like expect, especially like this, just bring the, the bad vibes, bro. Cause if you have your Bible, is I right. you have your Bible is I right. okay it's okay having like two crosses in your house is okay but having a multiple crosses in your in your wall like this just bring the bad vibes bro it's not gonna bring the bad vibes the thing is when you're following Christ Nothing bad gonna happen, but having multiple stuff like this is out outrageous, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I do have. Now you might be thinking that this man is simply devoted to his religion. While that's partly true, the main reason as to why he prays a lot has to do with something completely different. As it turns out, this man has been experiencing strange happenings in his home. Ever since visiting his father's gravesite at the cemetery, he can't shake the feeling that something has followed him home. Whatever it might be. Your whatever relative in the grave, 
before you leave you gotta make a quick prayer so anything that is around you stays there and doesn't follow you home you always gotta do a prayer before leaving the cemetery because there's spirits there who who want to attach to you who wants to attach to you and follow you home before you leave the cemetery after visiting some relative at the cemetery before you leave you gotta make a quick prayer bro really afraid of it for this reason he's been praying and singing religious songs more so than usual as an attempt to get rid of the evil entity that now lives in his home one day while taking a nap he wakes up to a loud noise in the living room he grabs his phone and records this bueno estoy grabando este video porque estoy tratando de dormir pero acabo de escuchar un golpe duro por allá en la sala entonces decidí grabar porque hace días que se viene presentando cosas extrañas en el apartamento son las cuatro cuatro y cuarto cuatro tres y cuarto de la tarde entonces me parece muy extraño que hasta ahora están sucediendo como cosas raras entonces oh oh it's for something he showed it in the in the um in the video bro it's broad daylight bro it's daylight and and stuff happening daylight is crazy miren es en el comedor tengo las ventanas cerradas cerradas miren Esto viene sucediendo hace como una semana ya. Pues la verdad se me hace muy extraño. Se me hace muy extraño que esté pasando cosas así. Feeling slightly unnerved, the man sees a set of eating utensils swaying side to side as though a strong breeze had passed by. But as the man points out, all windows are closed shut. Naturally, he was stricken with fear, but not as much as the next incident as what happens then leaves him terribly shaken up. A few days after this occurrence, the man uploads a video in which he appears to be deeply distressed. Watch. Whatever is following him is basically wants attention. I don't, it's, it's still scary though. En el nombre de Jesús te ordeno que te vayas. No tienes derecho de estar aquí. Ordeno que te vas. Que te vas en el nombre de Jesús. 
right in front of him is crazy, bro. Right in front of him is crazy, bro. You never see, gonna see like, like real paranormal videos, haunted videos, act just like that on camera, bro. Cause sometimes you hear them, but you don't see it actually doing the noise. And in this video, one of the keys actually went down. Appearing to be fed up with the supposed spirit, the man tells the spirit to leave at once. But after having done so, a piano key is seemingly pressed by an unseen force. The man quickly rushes out of the room in a panic frenzy. It was now clear to him that something was provoking him. But as if that wasn't obvious enough, four days later, this happens. It's three in the morning when the man and his girlfriend who was staying the night wake up to strange noises. What happens next leaves them highly unsettled. Bueno, voy a grabar este video porque nuevamente se están escuchando en el apartamento ruidos. Son las 3 de la mañana con 16 minutos y... Escucha, escucha, escucha. Sí, amor, sí, se escucha. Se la sala. Sí. Escucha. Esta vez eh, no estoy solo, esta vez estoy con mi novio que por fin decidió venir a acompañarme, pues estaba asustada debido a todas estas cosas que están pasando. ¿Cuál es eso, amor? La cocina. ¿Qué fue eso? Se cayó. Bro, he's going there alone. Why is his wife not getting up? I mean, his girlfriend. Oh, hell no. Hell no, bro. Why you not turning on the lights in the first place? In the name of Jesus, manifest Nah, don't say that, bro. He's invoking the, the spirits. Bro, leave. I mean, turn on the light. Why is he not turning on the light, bro? Hell nah. Hell no, nah. and she's right behind, right behind him. She's, she's a real one. Manifiestate en el nombre de Jesús. Te ordeno que te manifiestes. First of all, why isn't it? Why is the lights not on? The lights should be on in the first place. Bro, just walk to the kitchen. Why are you walking slow? Oh, hell no. Everything is open. Everything is open, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Strangely, the wind chimes move on their own, and the kitchen appears to be ransacked. Yet according to the man, no signs of forced entry were seen anywhere in the house. Further adding to the strangeness, the man says that his girlfriend felt very ill only minutes after this incident. Whether or not this had something to do with her sudden illness is unknown. But considering what happened only days later, the man can't help but think that the spirit was responsible for this. It's late at night, and the man is once again woken up by mysterious noises when this is captured.
And the light's still not on. Why is the light not on? It's so dark, bro. I can't see. him that's him oh hell no bro he attacked him that's no ghost that's a demon bro without warning the sound of footsteps charging a full throttle can be heard heading towards the man before being attacked by an unseen presence scared stiff the man stands in silence while trying to process what just happened he then picks up his phone and ends the video here although undoubtedly strange Viewers find it stranger that the man doesn't turn on the lights in most of these incidents. But the reason for this, according to him, is that the lights for most of the rooms are located at the main entrance, which he stays away from, as he's too scared to approach. Whether ghost or not, the man continues to pray and read passages from the Bible in the hopes that doing so would get rid of the strange presence that haunts him. End of this video, the video actually goes longer, but I don't want to make it longer. Um, if you enjoy these type of content, content, subscribe, subscribe to my channel, uh, turn on the bell, like the video will help a lot, uh, share it with your friends, share it with your friends, tell them you know someone who, um, uploads the, your favorite content, tell them, tell them about me, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.